All right, guys, welcome to one of our first labs um, for today's lesson. Um, this is the clear tape lab. And as you can see, and I apologize, the shadows are kind of hard to see, but you can see my hands. Um, you can see the tape here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be walking you through the lab. Ideally, if you have clear tape at home, this one's pretty easy to do. Um, we would like for you to follow along with us as we do it. If you don't, you can watch the video and answer the questions below. Um, the first thing you're going to need is some clear tape. Okay, so make sure you're not using masking tape, you're just using what I think we know as scotch tape. And what you want to do is you want to get a piece that's somewhere between two to three inches long. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of fold the top part over. I'm going to try to show you as much as I can. It's hard to see with clear tape. But you're just basically making a little tag that you can grab onto. So I've got the tape and I've got the little tag here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of tape and I am going to tape it down to the tape, okay? As you can see, there's a little tag right there, okay? Next thing is I'm gonna do the exact same thing with a second piece of tape. So I've got my second piece of tape, I am gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna fold over the little flag, so I have a tag end, and again, I am going to place it on the table, okay? Now here's the fun part. It's the part that everybody likes to do, and so I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it, all right? So right here's my two little tag ends. On step three, it says carefully peel back both pieces of tape off and hold them close together, okay? Underneath that is your guys' two questions, okay? So your two questions are, did they repel or retract each other? And I want you to explain why. And finally, if you get them close to any other objects. So after this, I have a couple other objects and I wanna see what's gonna happen to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly peel them and I am going to hold them up, and I <laughs> and I am going to hold them next to each other, and I want you to see what happens. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but they're getting close. Ooh, let's move over this way. They're getting close. They're getting close. They're getting close. And as soon as they get close, what's happening? Are they repelling or are they getting attracted to each other? What does that look like they're doing? Okay. All right. I know it's not great to see, but it's better. So I'm going to try it again. Put them down, I'm going to pull up, I'm going to bring them over, and I'm going to put them next to each other. And what do they do? All right. So now what happens if I bring over another object? Let's say I have this box of tissues. So I come over, I'm coming over, the tape, it's kind of hard to see. Uh oh, what's it doing? It is. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get in the light. There we go. Is it attracting or repelling? All right. Let's see. Maybe a styrofoam cup is a little bit better to see. Okay. One more time. Let's put it down. Let's pull it up quick. Now, if I move it towards an object, ooh, what happened there? What happens if I do this to a slinky, okay? And I bring it to a slinky, what's it doing? Attracting or repelling? All right, so there's your first lab. It's pretty straightforward. Um, ideally, if you do have this at home, try it on your own. It is better to see than what you can see here on um, the video. Problem is clear tape doesn't always necessarily work. All right, pay attention to our next one, which we are going to do the Styrofoam Cup Lab. All right, guys, hope you have a great day, and we will talk to you next time.